Did you ever get lost or at least feel like you didn't know where you were? I know I have. But thanks to technology, you don't have an excuse to ever get lost again. Surely by now, you know what a GPS is. They come in all sizes and uses for boats, cars, airplanes, even bicycles and ones you can wear on your wrist. But have you ever stopped to think about how they work? It all comes down to some simple geometry and trigonometry. On a flat surface, you need to know three things. For example, let's say that you're 368 miles from Nashville. That doesn't tell you much. You could be anywhere on this whole circle around Nashville. But if you know that you're 303 miles from Des Moines, you could be one of two places, but you're still lost. Finally, if you know that you're 264 miles from Oklahoma City, you know exactly where you are. In this case, Springfield, Missouri. That's pretty simple to understand, and it's called 2D trilateration. But the Earth is 3D. Let's make it spin. GPS satellites orbit the Earth every 12 hours at about 7,000 miles per hour, and there are 24 of them. Your GPS receiver needs to see at least four of them, but often uses up to 12 satellites to show exactly where you are. The GPS receiver in your hand basically compares the time a signal was sent from the satellite to the time it was received in your hand unit. With enough satellites, it triangulates exactly where you are. Today's GPS units are very accurate and can even be used in bad weather, literally anywhere on the planet. Does your head hurt yet? Here's the basics. Get a GPS, read the manual, and learn how to use it. You'll keep yourself from getting lost that way. But here's a warning. Learn how to use and carry a compass and a map. That way if your batteries die or you drop your GPS off a cliff, you'll still be able to get home. That's this week's Wow Factor. Have fun.